Well, the CF Mariners Golf Tournament isn't just about a great day of golf. It is a lot of fun. We have a great time with all of our friends. It's also an event rooted in the desire to raise money to once and for all find a cure for cystic fibrosis. Now, when I first got involved, it could be heartbreaking at times as the life expectancy for a child with CF was only about 10 or 11 years of age. Can you believe that? However, as a result of incredible research, scientific advancements and drug development, because of money raised by the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, people with CF today are living into their 40s. How about that? While cystic fibrosis was once a childhood disease, today at least 50%, 50% of people living with CF are now adults. Truly remarkable progress. But right now, our goal is to find a cure for CF and the kids born with CF have a full lifetime of joy and happiness. That's what this is all about. Now, right now, this is my favorite part. I'd like to welcome one of the most extraordinary people I've known and met down through the years. This young woman first came out to a golf tournament when she was three years old, just three years old, and was so spunky and full of life, just like she is today at the age of 23. I'm so excited to welcome Annie Hall. Annie, how you doing, Marty? It's great to see you. Great to see you too, Rick. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Annie Hall. I'm 23 years old, and I've been living with cystic fibrosis for my whole life. Um, I was diagnosed when I was 11 days old which we're really grateful for because I was able to get on meds and to be able to start everything really soon and really quickly. Um, I have struggled with my lungs and my sinuses my whole life, as most people know, and I've been hospitalized for my lungs um, nine times, and I have had 25 sinus surgeries, which, if you're keeping track, is more than the years I've been alive. Um, See, I've kind of missed, uh, kind of caused me to miss out on things when I was younger um, to take care of myself and to be healthier. Um, I actually even did online high school for the past, for the last few years I was in school just because being around people made me really sick. And um, it was able to keep me at least a little bit healthier. And now um, the older I get, I kind of realized that in my early teen years, I was really struggling with anxiety and depression, mainly from the CF of knowing, like you had said, that our, lung, our life capacity was so much less when we were younger, and now it's uh, so much greater, and we're so blessed by it. Um, this has really taught me that, you know, we get to live life appreciating every single day we have, and um, I spend my time not wasting a moment. Annie, it's, it's so great to have you here today to talk about your story. I'm so impressed with uh, your, your spirit and your strength. Now, I know that there's a new drug called Trikapta came out in October of 2019, and it has, a, has had a huge impact on everybody with uh, cystic fibrosis. Can you share what your experience has been like with this new drug and how you're feeling now as a result of it? Yeah, so I started the new drug back in January, which was really exciting. It was the first week of January I started, and um, I was pretty sick at the time, but thankfully it started working immediately, and uh, I stopped coughing within three days of starting it. I went back about a month later and my lung function was up to 101%, which is the highest it's been in years. Um, and I'm so grateful for how quickly it kicked in. Um, it makes me feel stronger and better overall. And obviously my lungs aren't hurting at all anymore, which was something that was causing issues every single day. Um, I was immediately able to start getting weight, which has always been an issue. And I've been a lot less tired and a lot easier to work out and everything like that, which I'm so grateful for. Um, it's it's a miracle drug, like everyone really says. And uh, I know that that's not the case for everyone. And it's um, really just on how well you are. But I'm I'm really grateful that it's worked really hard and that everyone has um, put so much time and effort into it that now it it's working and giving us back so much of our lives. Annie, that is just fabulous news, and it is because of the ongoing commitment of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation and the support of so many like you that that drug became possible. That's great news. Now, Annie, I, I know obviously every day you have to be careful living with cystic fibrosis in normal circumstances to take care of your health and your lungs. Can you share what life has been like for you since uh, COVID-19 and during this rough time for everybody? Unfortunately, with this, it's um, a bigger and scarier challenge because it could do so much damage to me. So um, I'm, I've actually been used to wearing a mask 
pretty much my whole life I've been wearing them at the hospital and any outdoor events I have been going to recently, like festivals, I always wear them. Um, I always wear a mask when I travel. Those are just things that I've put into my life normally. So this kind of stuff, um, that's kind of normal for me. Unfortunately, the whole world is a bigger scale at this point. Um, it's, uh, it's really difficult to not be able to go outside and to miss out on the things that I enjoy. Uh, I go to a lot of concerts and I even work at a concert venue. So for the past four months to be stuck at home and not have access to the things like that that make me happy, it's it's been hard. Um, however, yeah. it's good to know that I'm taking precautions to take care of myself and I hope everyone else is as well. Um, I haven't even gone into a grocery store or to anything since the first week of March. So it feels a bit like life's been put on hold, but that's all right. Um, I've been able to take this time to really like take care of myself and to focus on what I need. Well, Annie, I know one thing uh, by staying at home. Are those those wonderful paintings that, that you painted uh, right behind you? They're beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, I tell you what, you are such an inspiration and, and so strong for, for yourself and everybody. Thank you for sharing so honestly your story. What, what final message would you like to share with the uh, community as you reflect back on the golf tournament and all the fun times that we've had down through the years, and especially the message for those who have uh, cystic fibrosis like yourself? I just want to say um, a big thank you. I'm, I'm so grateful for the Seattle Mariners and for the support of everyone and for uh, the CF Foundation because they've made a tremendous change in all of our lives and given us so much. And um, I'm just so grateful for all the wonderful memories I have with like you and with everyone in the Mariners. Um, as you said, I've been doing this for about 20 years now with the golf tournament, which is amazing. And my entire life that I've been involved. Um, I'm so grateful for just everything that we've had. I know that my story isn't the same as everyone else with CF. And um, I know that the the new drug isn't helping everyone as much as it's helping me. But um I know that that makes us be aware that we have to keep working for a cure because it's it's not just me, it's everyone. And um, I hope that this really helps everyone and be inspired to keep uh, keep raising money for everyone and that we keep doing this. So thank you so much and thanks for everyone who's involved today. I love you, sweetie. You take care of yourself. Love you too. Take care.